Tony from TDD Construction. Just going to show you how to dig footings. All right, so you can see what we've done already, what we've done yesterday. So day one, we've dug around this side of the extension. So basically we do, we're running our line off the existing building and allowing six inches past the building. So the footing is bearing extra past the extension. Okay, so you imagine the load bearing. Okay, it's the same on the internal as well. Uh, so we've run our line through, we've squared up the corner. So now we know it's all square. We're running our line through here, so we're digging through the rest of the extension. Um, so what you do, aim for the width of the footings to be around 700 mil, okay? And the depth of it is going to be around 600 mil, but it's all depending on the ground. So you make sure you check. So guys, to check obviously if your ground is suitable enough, sometimes you can use a metal rod. Um, when you uh, dig it into the ground or stab it into the ground, if it keeps sinking down further and further, yeah, you've got, to go, you've got to dig further until the ground is su suitable enough, hard enough. Um, but the building inspector will come and check that for you, okay? So make sure you keep in contact with your local building inspectors, uh, building control, and they will inform you if they're happy for you to continue with the footings, etc. Okay? So what we've got here is access isn't very good around here. Um, so what we're doing is we've got coming on Thursday, but we have got a concrete pump coming. So we'll do a video on that, guys, but the concrete pump will come all the way around the property from the, from the front, around the rear. Uh, and it will load it all up here for us but we will have all our levels already done ready to go so we've got to do is follow our uh, datum lines across and we know it's perfectly level ready for us to build at the end of the week all right guys keep following <laughs> Guys here, we've got shovels, um, shovels, spades. We've got a bar as well, and a cheeky bottom. <laughs> so obviously we use the micro digger, which basically a micro digger means the uh, tracks can pull in, so you can get us through because the access around here is quite tight. So you can only just get that through. Um, so we're using that to dig it up. Um, we'll put them into wheelbarrows. We're going to use the trap barrows that I've got, but the access again, we can't use them. Um, so yeah using that it all depends on the ground and accessibility guys if you can get a digger in obviously it's a lot easier manpower and stuff but like i said parts from where the guys are digging now because there's a pipe basically where where james is now down that side we've got to just finish off hand digging so because it's something that's fairly hard we've got to um use our long bar a pickaxe yeah. spade or a shovel guys so make sure you're prepared for all counts before you start digging right? 